link to the Run From Earth blog and today we're going to be talking about the importance of fixed income as opposed to variable income. So, Run From Earth blog is part of the Run From Earth challenge which is our fundraising mission to save the lives of children by attempting the ultimate ultra marathon. To find out more about the challenge and how you can support it, please check the links in the comments below. Do remember if you enjoyed this vlog to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so that you can notify as of when each new episode is released. Thank you so much. Let's get started. So, fixed and variable income and the importance for me is fixed income as opposed to variable and I'll tell you for why uh, in the examples I'm about to talk about them. So first and foremost, what is the difference between fixed and variable income? Well, it should be relatively self-explanatory, but fixed is consistent income that comes in very consistently every month, every week, every day, whatever the period is. As a prime example could be I have a property business, so rental income is fixed income to me. It comes in, hopefully, if I tend to pay every month. Okay, so I can forecast fairly accurately on that business in terms of what revenue is going to be generated month on month, year on year, or quarter on quarter, year on year. Uh, variable income is income which is less predictable, so it's variable. It comes in on an ad hoc basis. I, uh, so it could be a sale, for example. So maybe you trade property deals. So it could be that one month you make two sales and you might generate £5,000 per sale. So maybe you generate £10,000 in that month. The next month you generate six sales. So you might, you know, you might make significant, you might make £30,000 in that month. The next month you might make no sales. So you make zero income in that month. So it's very variable, very volatile, and it's very, very difficult to to forecast or project against. So the reason I'm saying this today is that I have three main revenue streams. I have multiple businesses, but I'm just going to focus on one that actually have four main four revenue streams. Okay, one is property income from my, my portfolio and my property business. Okay, it's a fixed income. Very consistent, does fluctuate a little bit, but you have very small percentages. Okay, so it's very easy to project once against the business. The next business I have is my holdings business, so the lease holdings business if you like. So these are leases which are taken on with them, released if you like, from the government. Okay, and again, once they're in place, fixed income, money comes in every month. And it's fixed, it's very nice and easy to, to project. And then we have two separate revenue streams. One is the, uh, the leases that we sign, we sometimes sell some to investors. So we sell the lease that we buy and rent it to the government, we then sell that deal onto an investor for a fee. Okay? Now that fee is, is usually around about £3,000, but um, how many we sell in a month? is variable so the income can go up and down in that business on a month basis and the third revenue stream is the acquisitions trading business so these are properties that we will secure on behalf of an investor who will buy that property will then refurb it and get the lease in place before they then take ownership of that property uh, with a lease in place okay but again we charge a sourcing fee we charge a project management fee we charge a lease out they're, they're all variable because it's all based around the number of deals that we're actually selling. So um, again, it's variable. Now, the reason I'm talking today is that the beauty of fixed income is that you can allocate fixed overhead to those businesses and you know you're going to make a relatively similar profit on a month-by-month -month basis. It's very, very difficult to, to put fixed income against a variable income-based business. Um, oh, sorry, variable expenses against a variable income-based business because the income is so volatile. If you make no sales in a month, then and you've got overheads you to service, then that business runs the risk of going insolvent. Okay, and 
what I'm doing at the moment is the, the two variable business businesses have gone through a very dramatic change over the past few months as we had partnership separation and all those sides. It's now starting to come back, which is great. But the downside of that is we had overhead attached to these variable income based businesses. And what's ultimately happening now is I'm having to do lots of intercompany loans to ensure that the overhead, the group, is serviced. But what that means is for me, is my time is having to be spent managing cash flow. I hate managing cash flow. Okay, and when the business is all set up, like fixed income businesses, I have standing orders set up to separate accounts, which gives my accountant the ability to do all the payments, all the payment runs, pay all the invoices, all of these things are covered and outsourced. Okay, with a variable based income where it's not consistent, you can't put those automation, automation mechanisms in place until the business has a significant healthy cash buffer. Okay, otherwise, you're constantly on the risk of your account of running out of funds and having to chase it for more, and then you're having to pull money from different companies to make payments, etc. So, the moral of the story here is I love fixed income for so many reasons. It provides such a stable environment for me as a person, and um, that's certainly something I'm going to be working very hard to get very, very stable so that the variable based income can take all the overhead away from them and they are basically commissioned. And then my fixed income businesses can cover all of the fixed overhead. So I know that that's covered, there's no cash flow management that has to be involved, and then anything that comes in from the variable income businesses is, is bonus money. So that's where I am at the moment. Uh, the life of a roller skater, like life of an entrepreneur, is, is literally like a roller coaster, it's up and down constantly. But you know what? At least it's exciting. So that's pretty much it for me today. If you've got any questions, please drop me a comment, I'll respond to everyone. Um, please remember that the Runplay blog is part of the Runplay Challenge, which is our fundraising mission to save the lives of children by attempting the ultimate ultra marathon. Find out more about the challenge and how to support it, please check the links in the comments below. Thank you for your support, stay positive, stay happy, and I'll see you soon.